So I wanted to make a video real quick, just here on the couch. Uh, kind of like the Rossi video that I had done a few, uh, few months ago. I pulled this out of the safe and I was just thinking, you know, there's a lot of uses for this kind of weapon. And it's not all home defense, it's not all hunting, it's a little bit of everything. I wanted to go over a few of those points. Starting with reliability, I had had another one of these in 410 uh, full choke a number of years ago, and I have to say, I never had an issue with the gun. Um, I'd put probably close to a thousand rounds through it, and really never had many issues with it at all, other than getting dirty. Everything you would expect, just based on fun use and just stuff like that, I hadn't really, um, hadn't really hunted with it at all. Never had to use it for home defense, which is a good thing. And uh, we would just go out and shoot targets with it, and it was a lot of fun. And I have to say, these guns are really, really well built. I love these New England firearms. This model here is a 3-inch Pardner Tracker 2, and I believe that says SB1, which means uh, it's a rifled barrel, has adjustable sights, or adjustable sight. And it's um, in a 3-inch chamber. One of the biggest things I liked about these was durability. Um, I'm not really easy on my guns. Um, when we're going out shooting targets and stuff, I mean, they get knocked over. They get dropped in mud, water, sand, snow, stuff like that. I mean, they're, they're guns. They're, they're machines. They're not really meant to be babied. Um, unless they're really, really old or, you know, you really don't want to mess your shit up. So, I bought this on the premise that I know it's going to get beat up. I'd like to restore it um, in the future if it does get beat up. I mean, there's things on it that I would change. Definitely the the, the paint on the front post isn't as good as it could be. Um, I would love to redo the stock and the foregrip. Somebody put a, uh, a sling mount on there before, which is cool. It has little dents and dings and stuff like that. And the uh, the rubber on the end is... A little loose because the screw had stripped out but overall for a hundred dollars i mean you, you can't beat it honestly you can't beat it for a hundred dollars you can get a 12 gauge shotgun with or without a rifle barrel and have fun all day with it you you cannot beat it before i break this the round that i have in there is a dummy round that i had made up myself that's got to be one of the coolest things about this it's got to be one of the coolest things no other gun that you're going to go and bring to the range is going to have that snap, unless it's a break action. Um, like I said, this gun is many different guns all in one. You can get the cylinder adapters, you could do from 22 or 17 HMR all the way up to 12 gauge. Um, I've seen them in 223, 38 Special. They're just extremely versatile, easy to clean, easy to break down. All you have to do is just take out... Um, that screw right there, pull the grip off and then the barrel breaks off and you can clean inside of it and do what you have to do. It does have a transfer bar. Um, I think that's kind of a good thing. Uh, some people don't like it. Other people's, uh, other people love it. It's, it's really based on preference. I don't mind it. I really honestly don't. Um, Every hammer fired gun I've ever had has had a transfer bar. I've never had an issue with them. They may be a little bit more complicated, but they're safe. That's really all that matters. As far as breaking it, all you have to do is press this. And it does kick the shell out, like I mentioned before. It's one of the coolest features of one of these. I honestly think everybody should own one of these, at least one. If it's a 12 gauge, that's perfect. You can get the adapters for it and make it whatever you want to make it. They may not be as accurate as they could be with those adapters. It just depends on what kit you get. I've seen them all the way up to six or seven hundred dollars for a full kit, and I've seen them as cheap as twenty-two dollars on eBay. If you want just one chamber, I personally would get a nine millimeter just because it was easy, and um, I happen to have the ammo for it. So I just wanted to go over this real quick. I thought it was a pretty good gun. Um, like I said, I had had a four ten way back in the day, and I miss it. I should have never sold it, but this is its big brother, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching.